And we're ready to go in the annual Iron Bowl at Legion Field in Birmingham with William Watts to kick it off for Alabama. Thomas Bailey and Willie Gaucher will return it for the Auburn Tigers. High hanging kick, not all that long. It is finally fielded all the way up on the 15-yard line by Raymond Malcolm, a reserve tailback, and he'll return it out to the 26, and it'll be first down for Auburn. The Auburn Tigers now will punt. The kicking game is pretty good for both these teams. Terry Daniel will be hitting it to Deshae Townsend. Townsend is a freshman out of Batesville, Mississippi. Terry Daniel, a senior from Valley, Alabama. And he gets a lot of hang time on most of his punts. And Townsend isn't going anywhere. Jay Barker is on top of the heap right now. First down. Tied the ball is pitched back to Sherman Williams. Gets around the corner. One man to beat. And he hits just enough of him to throw him off balance and take him down at the 48-yard line. On an option play, it goes to the big guy Lynch. And Tarrant Lynch rumbling down the field. That's what happens when he gets the ball. He can turn it for you. He's hit 17 consecutive field goals from inside the 40-yard line. This will be a 36-yard try. And for the lead at 9.55 to go in the first quarter. It's no good. Sanders is a great leaper. Here's the punt away by Terry Daniels. Another good kick back to the 25-yard line goes to Shea Townsend, young man that Bob was talking about. And he shows some patience and pause there as he comes all the way back across the 40. I suspect these punters are going to be doing a lot of work today. Yep. Yeah, they're both pretty good. That's a high hanger. Got wet. It was up there so long. Fair catch, 26-yard line. First down for the Auburn Tigers. And Nick. Back to throw it, lets it go down the sideline. The pass is too long as Frank Sanders was well covered defensively by Tommy Johnson, the boundary quarterback for Alabama. And there's your first penalty flag of the day. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. So Alabama doesn't have to use a ball that says Auburn. On. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes Davis. He fumbles the ball. Alabama recovers it. He lost the ball on the hit. Third down and seven. Jay Barker throws a bullet. Pass is caught for a first down by Curtis Brown. And the ball will be marked down inside the 35 at the 33. Third down and eight. Barker has time. Gives the ball away to Lynch. He shakes the tackler. Still going. Got a first down out of it. That's a good tough run by Tarrant Lynch out of Town Creek. Ended up the middle. Both teams very, very good inside the so-called red zone. I like to call it the green zone. Me too. This is Williams. He's gone. Touchdown. back inside the 25 to the 23. First. Gives it on the reverse. Got a block on the corner. No. Down he goes at the 30. First down and 15. As Jay Barker has a man down the middle of the field wide open. It's Malone. Patrick Malone. It's a foot race to the goal line. It is touchdown. No flag. That's why he might well be a surprising high draft choice, too. Yes, sir. This is Nix with a bullet. And Patrick Nix suddenly opens up and hits Thomas Bailey. A big play out to the 47-yard line. This is Daniel's fourth punt of the day. Needs it high, needs to kill it deep. He's got a knuckler going deep. Fair catch is called. And uh, Deshae Townsend just barely able to get a hand on it. Yeah, they'll hang in. A lot of times you block a punt for a touchdown, you'll win the game. Chad Key 
fumbling the ball, throws on the reverse, pass complete to Jay Barker. It goes former quarterback to quarterback. That looked like a, that's a Homer or a Smith call. That ain't, that's called heart attack. <laughs> that's Tarrant Lynch. He bobbles the ball, too, almost dropped the thing, and finally got it upfield, close to another first down. Led the team in tackles last year. Second down and one, Lynch, who's had a busy first half. And he's got another first down. He is just handling the defensive tackle, Keith. He doesn't know he's too late. This is Sherman Williams crossing midfield. Riddle is in the backfield now on the first down snap. Parker back. Very good protection down the middle. It goes. Caught. Marcel West. Touchdown. Back goes Nix on third and nine. He's going to be set. No chance. Blowing in. Number 91, Damian Jeffries, got in his face. And then other people came. Number 44 got there in a big hurry as well. They had three guys lined up on that side. A little confusion there in the offensive line. Punt is out of there by Daniel. Townsend waiting for it. Ball bounces. Let's it go. Cost him 16, 17 yards. Alabama just blowing Auburn off the ball right now. Threatening to overwhelm him. This is Sherman Williams. And he's close to the first down. That's very revealing right there, isn't it? On second down and a half a yard, actually only inches, it's Terrett Lynch jamming in over the right side, running behind John Stevenson and Kareem McNeil for the first down. Here's Brian Deal into punt now on the 38 yard, his first effort of the day. in the back. This is certainly no place to get too wild with your offense. Hand the ball over to Harold Morrow. And Morrow gets out for about two, maybe three yards before Ralph Staten takes him down. Joe Frazier and uh, Stephen Davis checks back in. Pitch it to Davis. There's the block by Frazier. Tries to cut it back inside. They've been doing that with great success all year. Frazier did his job. Low line drive. He's got some run room. Gets a block. Now runs out of help. Goes down on the 39 yard line. He's been known with good field position to pull it down and take off. He has some license for that. And this time Bailey is able to get it back across the 30 and out of bounds at the 32. Harry Daniel to punt it. Todrick Malone now is deep. Here is a play for field position. Go for Malone speed here, and he has to call a fair catch because the coverage is good. And there's a penalty flag back up around the line of scrimmage. Holding against all. Hey. High kick. A little bit of room here. He'll try it. Almost. Almost got it turned up field, but it was Harold Morrow, the fullback, coming downfield and made the tackle on him. They peel back for return, but I don't think they'll have much luck with this one because it's knocked way back into the end zone. And time has run out. The first half is over, and it's Alabama 21, Auburn nothing. Hawkins will kick it off for Auburn. Alabama will have the ball first in the second half. And the lights are on as he takes it at the one-yard line. And coming back up, it's West, who had the 49-yard touchdown reception. And he runs it back to the 42-yard line. Here's 20. All right, we'll see what happens. Alabama starts it from the 38-yard line. And this is Sherman Williams. And he starts it off with another big run. A lot of space between those two. Williams is back. He's got the ball. Got a block. 
Almost. Third down. About ten and a half. Parker looking around, looking around, now throw. Pass is completed. The hate for a first down. The tight end carries it inside the 20 to the 17. They got him. Balls loose. Auburn gets it. Frazier and Davis in the backfield. Give it to Davis. He's got some daylight. He's got a big play all the way out to the 48-yard line. 0 for 7 on third down conversions. This is third and four. Here they come. Throws quickly. They give him the catch at the 41-yard line. Thomas Bailey. Out of the shotgun. Pressure coming. Trying to set up a screen. Gets it off to Beasley. And Beasley's got a big play. Down to about the Alabama 20-yard line. Staying in the shotgun. Six. Has a lot of time to throw. Completes the pass at the 11. Close to a first down. Thomas Bailey. Quarterback sneak for the first down. The offensive line surge by Auburn Big there. They went for at least three yards. It is third and goal from the five. From Will being tested right here. Going to throw. Did he make it? No, sir. Fourth down. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Penalty flag on the field. In the end zone. It's behind the defense. Too many people on the field for Alabama. Yeah. Touchdown, Auburn. It's a big drive for Auburn. First possession. All right, the second half belongs to us. Oh. I'm sure that Terry said something like that in yep. the second half, the halftime to it. Yep. But here comes Sherman Williams breaking the play for a first down all the way out to the 39-yard line. Gives it to Williams again. And he's got five or six before he is chased out of bounds by Chris Schelling. Here's John Saunders. 48-yard line, third down, and one. Power play. They got it. Williams is back in at tailback. Has the ball. Gets down to about the 45. They're now working on the Auburn side of the field. Got it again. Foot slid out of bounds just short of the 40 and a yard short of the first down. I wonder if Auburn knows about that stat there. Slam into the middle and again. Riddle bangs over the top for the first down. Oregon is trailing on the go. Jay Barker on third down and seven. Got it. Curtis Brown makes the key catch. Ball just short of the Auburn 26-yard line in possession of Alabama with the Crimson Tide leading 21-7. And Sherman Williams cut back, cut back, cut back. Finds some daylight. And is finally knocked off his feet at the 17-yard line. Well, I'm sure Gene decided that I'm going to go for it twice on running plays. So Parker tries it this time. He had to get that ball just about to the 15-yard line. And that's where he has it, just about the 15-yard line. 15 time plays so far in it. That's Even if you don't score. Bundle of time. Alabama's won on that drive. Right. This is Williams. Inside the five. Third and goal from the nine. Pass. Yep. Parker, last time, throws into the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Robinson. His eighth of the season. And the Auburn Tigers have the ball. Out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. 18, maybe. 21 to 7 ball game. Nick pumps it. He's Nick ready. throws it. He's got a guy. He's got Bailey. Thomas Bailey. All the way down to the Alabama 33-yard line. Nick's. 
with a pass. Complete to Andy Fuller, the tight end, and he's got a first down. Fights his way inside the 15. Pat McNix out of the shotgun. Passes and batted down, and intercepted by Damian Jeffries. What a play. Second down and five. This is Sherman Williams, first down. Works his way across the 45 and up to the 47. Well, it's another one of consequence for Sherman Williams. Ryan Deal is in to punt. Thomas Bailey is back to return it. Pretty good kick by Deal. He runs him all the way back to the six-yard line. There's one block for Bailey. Two, three, and finally down he goes at the 25-26. Two wide left, one wide right. A lot of room in the middle of the field. And Nix picks up about uh, six yards to the 32, and here's Lynn Swan. Oh, that? He's in Georgia. Very out of somewhere. Clark Central is up like that. Yeah. That's an average. 37. Fair size play right here. Got a screen for Beasley. First down for Beasley. And Auburn is on the Alabama side of the field. Patrick Nix, sideline. Knocked out at the 39 of Alabama. Pickup is about eight yards. They can't get much pressure on uh, Nix right now. That ball is thrown to Frank Sanders. And he's down just short of the 30. It's another Auburn first down. Officially goes in the book at first down at the 30. Still no pressure. Ball is thrown out to Beasley. There's the penalty flag. He had 12 guys on the field. Yep. 12 players on the defense. 15 on penalty. First down. Because the, the man that was supposed to cover the short guy fell off. Coming again. Throws quickly. Sanders caught it. Shakes loose. Dives to the goal line. Down to the one. The clock is running. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Auburn. So it's a gutty march by the Auburn Tigers, led by Patrick Nix. 19 out of 35 now. 207 yards and two rushing touchdowns. The big bounce. Parrot Lynch, number 45, looked to be the man who went up in the air, put it on his numbers, and cradled it to the earth. Deal. Gets it out of there, gets a high spinner. Beautiful kick. Bounces sideways. Bounces sideways. It's down on the one foot away from the goal line. the other way completes the pass to Beasley in the end zone Beasley got around the corner pass is completed out to the 27 caught by Thomas Bailey that's another first down Alabama sitting in a three deep zone they're gonna have to blitz sooner or later to get some pressure that Sanders and Sanders has got eight or nine yards. Oh, there's no runs in this play. Pressure. They chase him out. They miss him again. He's got his first down. Ball is just across midfield. Nix throws to Beasley. And Beasley is thrown out of bounds at the 43, just near the 42, stopping your clock at 38 seconds. Fourth and three. Sanders over the middle. Didn't no. get it. He didn't get it. No, sir. He turned on the 40-yard line. He had to go inside the 40, and he never, ever got across that 40-yard line that I could see. Shade and Johnson ripped him right on the 40. Auburn says yes. Alabama says no. They didn't make it. 
I mean, it couldn't have been more than, than an inch. And there's a penalty flag thrown. Now Alabama has to kill 31 seconds on the clock. And if Alabama wins this ball game, it'll be the 44th win for the senior class. That's remarkable. Take a look at that last play from the left side. Sanders is going to slant in, catches the ball right there on the line, and double coverage as he's had all day stopped him short of the first down. Sam Shade had the leverage, number 31, and simply would not let him inside the 40-yard line. And Johnson had the tackle. Shade had the leverage to push him back, and that was the difference of an inch. And now you know why they play these kind of games. I'm going to sit down. 